a blind pilot walks into a plane waving his walking stick. The passengers all look at each other in disbelief. The flight attendant gets on the PA and says, Ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, the captain is legally blind, but rest assured, he is one of the best pilots in the world with over 6,000 successful flights. Next the co-pilot makes his way to the plane and he is also blind and uses his walking stick to make it to the cabin. The flight attendant gets on the PA and says, Ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, the co-pilot is also blind, but rest assured, he is the second best pilot in the world with over 5,000 successful flights. At this point the plane begins to take off from the runway. As it gains speed, the passengers grow tenser. The plane keeps accelerating more and more and as it approaches the end of the runway, it still hasn't left the ground. The plane is approaching the end of the runway at high speed and the passengers scream, Oh my God, we're all going to die. Suddenly, the plane takes off and begins its ascent. The pilot turns to the co-pilot and says, The day they stop screaming, we're screwed. The delay in my mind for the punchline is like the screams of the passengers. I'm itching to visit my granda to tell him this joke, this is right in his wheelhouse for humor. I think I got it. But maybe not. So they were able to get the plane off the ground because they heard the screams when they got to the end of the runway. Makes me miss my uncle. He died in his sleep. Much more peacefully than the passengers on his bus. How do you recognize an airline pilot at a party? He will tell you. I knew this joke and I think it's weird that the pilot has to turn to the co-pilot for the punchline in this version. He's blind. Something, something, seeing eye dogs strapped to the landing gear. Due to automation and the fact the industry is facing a shortage of pilots, airlines are now working very hard to reduce the flight deck crew to one person, and a dog. The pilot is there to feed the dog. And the dog is there to make sure the pilot doesn't touch anything. There was me expecting a pair of guide dogs pulling the plane. I love that all top comments for this joke have negative karma. Well done. I see what you did there. Can someone more intelligent than me please explain? Alternate punchline after the fight attendant says their spiel about each one, the pilots say to each other, I'm glad we finally get to work together after all these years. You see, they each previously relied on another pilot co-pilot to actually fly the plane in the past. I guess since I felt the need to explain it, it probably wasn't as good as I thought it was. One of the best pilots in the world with over 6,000 successful flights. 6,000? How old is this joke? That's like, mid-range for a middle-aged captain. Still safer than flying on 737 MAX. This had been reposted several times. I prefer the version posted a few weeks ago in which the pilot with a cane and the co-pilot with a guide dog enter the plane together go into cabin and just close the door. Then the plane takes off. Also blind people don't carry walking sticks. This sounds like a 99.9 .9 of the time joke. How many flights are there in a year total around the world? Let's see if it's safe for any of them to fly. Only 0.001? Crash anyway. Again in case it wasn't obvious there's a lot of sarcasm. The thing about this joke that I don't get is why it continues to repost it blatantly and no one cares. I have a terrible feeling that this is all a simulation, and that would explain why the commenters in this thread haven't revolted and vomited. Or that explains why they haven't commented and why the rest of you have. That's a new one. The punchline should be about the landing. Planes naturally want to take off as long as it is going fast enough and has wings in the proper position. TBH I think some airplanes have automated takeoff and landing procedures. Not trying to ruin the joke though, I just think this is a cool fact. Planes can basically fly themselves these days. But I'd how much the autopilot actually does during these so maybe someone who knows more can let me know. You are amazing. Loved this joke. Cue the blind man in the nunnery joke. I heard a similar story years ago in flight school. The pilot is blind, and someone asks how he lands the plane. His reply I just get it set up in ILS, and when I hear the co-pilot gasp, I pull up and land. Haha <laughs> good one. Can't help but feel that punchline is weak almost bad. Guess it's funnier if you don't know anything about flying a commercial aircraft? This is similar to a joke that was posted on here a while back. This is the worst version of this joke I've ever read. I really thought this joke was either gonna end with one.
the pilots going blind the day before or two. This being the first time they'd been paired together. That explains the takeoff. How do they land? It's a joke bro, not a Werner Herzog documentary. This is offensive. Something, something, the auto functions basically flew the airplane anyway, the only reason the plane took of lit was the dog fell asleep on the controls or something. Whatever. And so on.